Hello and welcome back to Rollercoaster Tycoon where we are in a park that is taking forever to complete. I think we could have completed this in just under three years if we really wanted to, but because it's so special, because there's such a crazy creative goal, um, yeah, it's taking so long. I mean, we've raised the bar really high. What? What? I mean, wait, what's happening over here? Let's unpause it. Oh, that's bad. Right. This is really bad. They do seem to all be at least going at some pace, but... Yeah, okay, so we might want to close this one down then. And actually change this a little bit. Um, so, what we need is more speed on this. Basically, what we need is for it to go down over here at this section. So we have a... L a small but necessary decline in the track over here. Uh, let's see, like this, and then like this, and then like it. So, that should alleviate the issue that we might have had with it. Ball. See, that's why I don't like more than one lift. <laughs> what I u that's why I usually always end up with the same boring track designs. Because of what we had over there. But anyway, like I was saying, yeah, this bike's taking so long because I've raised the bar really high for me and you, you know, the whole park. It needs to be up to standards. Now, this pink shenanigan coaster with a dual color scheme is the latest edition and look at the ratings. Nine! <laughs> I mean, it's the first niner that we have and man, am I proud of it. However, the Nutcracker was one hell of a birth to give, really, and, you know, seeing how I went on about having a good mixture and all that, uh, I'm gonna stick to that, and um, right now, we are going to build something else than a coaster, and I know we only need two more, and it's already taking a long time, but... I don't care. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, that was, you know, last time we did like almost a one hour coaster build. So this time I want to do something else. Still tracks, but a water ride. <laughs> because we still have two that we can build. Um, this one and this one. I don't really want to build this one. I mean, it's not like we, I don't have the money for it or anything, but I just don't like the wooden curtain of supports that we would get. I might took it away over here all the way, but that is a might. I mean, I also might not do that. Anyway, I went a bit this one, the River Rapids, over here uh, on the water, and actually what I would really like to have is uh, to have the station be just above the water, but then to have a majority of the track actually be in the water, because with this ride it looks really good. However, I do think that, uh, you know, the water is going to be somewhere over here. I think we should uh, make the def definitive, or definitive, <laughs> however you pronounce it, uh, shape of our path. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. But, seeing how we took an hour of coaster building last time, some stuff might have changed in the bug, you know? Things might have been destroyed, <laughs> or not. But, yeah, I mean, look at this, for example. Planet Jungle... Needs it pricing adjusted once again? It's only two bucks. Oh, it might become really old then. Um, now there's two things we can do about this. Because it's becoming really old, it loses popularity. I mean, all rides do that. But this one seems to be really at the end of the cycle. How old is it? I mean, when was it built? It sh that should be said somewhere. Built five years ago. So, even though it's cheesy, I think that this ride, I think what we're going to do is we're, go we're just going to straight up replace it, you know. Uh, it's called Planet Jungle, it has that and that color scheme. Yeah, alright, we're just going to straight up replace it, really. Nobody's going on it anymore, so we might as well. I don't feel, you know, after we've lowered the price, well, they, they do continue to be good for quite a long while, but... Right now, I really feel like the ride, you know, I mean, yeah. 
I don't feel bad about this after five years, you know. Some things just need replacing. Sometimes things, you know, come to an end, you know. They've all seen the movie and all that, so... Uh, however, <laughs> what they don't know is that the movie over here is going to be exactly the same. Does it matter? No. Oh. Balls. Alright, hold on a second. Maybe I should move you around. <laughs> Yeah, that might not have been the best of things I did there. Uh, and then that. That is how it should be. There. Look. Ten minutes. Five bucks. It's all new. I mean, if there's more slam down rides that have been lowered in price and that are still unpopular, I'm going to just straight up replace them. So Now, uh, we had, I believe, the green and the yellow color scheme, did we not? But then the somewhat that and the somewhat that. I think this was the color scheme. If not, <laughs> it is going to be it right now. For the next five years or so. <laughs> so and then it was Planet Jungle. Alright. Good. So that is now a new. Um, yeah, so. Uh, Alright. That's one thing done. We need to check the rest. The rest does seem to be quite well priced still. I see folks on each and every queue. I also see uh, dinghy boats going everywhere, so yeah, it's good. Yeah, it seems to be quite all right right now. Fine then. Um, the vandalism. I mean, we a year has passed, so who knows what kind of vandalism we might uh, come across? Well, <laughs> I know. I know what kind of vandalism we come across. The non-type of vandalism, <laughs> which means it isn't there. At least so far. Yeah, it actually isn't there. Because the park is kept clean, and there's loads of guards, <laughs> so if you do try anything fancy, it will get you right-handed. Right then, that's good, that's nice, I approve. The water right then, huh? Well, like I said, we first need the... I first want the path to be in a definitive, so we're going to get that done, and then we also need facilities for it. Now, I am going to hug the water side over there. I'm gonna go over there then, like this, do a bit of a, you know, a bit of a zigzag, you know. Okay, may maybe not over there, <laughs> apparently the terrain is not liking that ID, it's not cooperating, fine then. And right now I feel like we should move in from the other place over here, by going down. Actually, we should go down one earlier, there, you know. Trying to keep uh, the least amount of bother paths in the park. We'll remove the tree. And we need to drop down to over here, more or less. And where does it line me up? Look at that. Pretty much slam on perfect. Now this will be a very, very good redistribution of the guests uh, around the park. Now basically this whole section here will we'll now see a lot more traffic, so this is good. This is going to benefit uh, greatly, you know, for the ride profitability uh, and all that. I don't think there's that many rides. I mean, the ride density is like pretty low, but uh, it's good. Uh, th this is what we need, so <laughs> there, having said that, this is also what we need. Dudes who keep the new area clean. Uh, oh, nice, it's all on that one thingy. I will get another one, and you'll have this section. Very nice. Now, of course, we also need facilities for this new section, which we are going to build in uh, just a moment. For now, though, wow, look at that. Look at the amount of folks already wandering around over here. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it becomes, like, instantly busy, pretty much. Good stuff. Right then, facilities, huh? Um, yeah, uh, you just heard the flush of the thing that we're gonna build. <laughs> That's right, the toilet. We need that, and we need one right over here. There. Toilet number seven. Now, we actually have <laughs> seven freaking toilets. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a lot, actually. Also, seeing how this is the water section, I wouldn't mind making them dark blue balloons, you know? Because of water section. 
And I also wouldn't mind doing a hat stall over here. I don't think there, no, there isn't really anyone, uh, any hat stall close by, so we'll do it like there. And these hats will have the orange color. Right, so I need a second hat stall like that. Right then. Um, now it's time to get the food stuff and the uh, and, and the drinks. <laughs> There's only one drink really, so <laughs> let's quickly sort it as well. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think if I no, that would be below. This one would be right at it there. And then, of course, we need some food stuff. Now we have so much to choose from, but a burger bar is never a miss. Never, never, ever. There, my burger bar. I also feel like we should maybe do some terraforming over there and add some other food thing. I don't know, maybe an ice cream thing. I don't think we have... Oh, and of course, I lower the terrain at the one place <laughs> where we can't hook it up. Great. Perfect strategic viewing of me there. Not wasting money at all. <laughs> Not that it's money right now is the real issue or anything. By the way, I also would like something over here, really, you know, like a drink store. We're gonna get one there, actually. Yeah, but I think that, that wouldn't be such a bad place for one. There. It's not like seafood. You'd think that seafood would also sell drinks, you know, it's coming from the ocean, but... Yep. Right. So maybe, like, another food one thingy in here, then? Yeah, we, we could get away with that. We'll just terraform a nice hill in here. <laughs> like, it's all natural and all that. Yeah, there. And then we can add two more, which we're going to do. We're going to get these candy flush things. In there. And we are also going to get a pizza hut. I have pizzas, man. Who would say no to that? There. Right, now I think that that covers most of the needs uh, that I guess could possibly have over here. So then it's time to build the ride. Now I don't really want the station to be in the water, because that, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of that. But uh, what I do want is for it to hook up somewhere over here in the new section. So that's also what we're gonna... Actually, I wouldn't mind if it hooks up over here somewhere. Nah. We're gonna we're gonna have it hook up over there. So the entrance is going to be over there. The exit this is gonna hook up over there. It's gonna be all the way down to the other side, which we will terraform for because that's what we do. <laughs> we make the terrain adapt to our needs. Good, like that. Yes. Oh. What at the exit? <laughs> I thought there was a hotkey for it. <laughs> there wasn't. Now then, time to get this thing going. Do we have... No. This one does not come with special track pieces, you know. That uh, are so-called right improvements. No. Now, what I... D I mean, there are these hills over here. I wouldn't mind utilizing them a little bit. Well, these, uh, now they, they are for the coasters, so what we're going to do is we're, we're going to go over here. Of course, a whirlpool first. I have like a small drop, <laughs> so the rowers get wet. <laughs> yeah, through the waterfalls, there. And then we're going to go up. Uh, not that much, though, because there is something in the way. Also, I quite like it how the devs actually have given attention to detail by adding willows to the water side. That's how you always see it like you know, in real uh, nature parks and all that as well. So. It's a very nice touch, I think. Right, now this is, this is, yeah, because of a tree. Look at this. High drops. Now, we know that they work, they are good. So, we're gonna add a whirlpool. And then... You know what, we're gonna add another one <laughs> to speed up the spinning. Or spin up the spinning. And then down like that. Look at this, look at this. Massive drop. Oh, oh, oh there's a river rapids in the way. Oh, fine then, that's not a problem. More rapids. <laughs> there, this is what the river is. 
Oh, nice, and it isn't too high for support. But this is even better. Then we're gonna go down even further. Look, like this, and then drop some more. Oh, nice, and this is where I want it to be. Because right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it inside the water. There. Okay, so now we can enable this. Look, this is what I wanted to do. And this, I think, is just freaking amazing. I mean, I think, I mean, this just looks like it's in, in the lake, you know. It's just some, some course in the lake. I think it looks really amazing. Oh, and by the way, we are going to change this section to a whirlpool. So they, they'll go down spinning. Uh, then back to over here, we need a curve. Which we're going to get balls. No, no, let's look. Ah, the curves. The curves aren't really <laughs> like the strong selling point uh, here. So we'll have one section there with uh, well, you know, another section of waterfalls. And then we're I'm gonna do a whirlpool. Whirlpool, I said, with a. Actually, can we think of it? This could be problematic. I don't think we should do that just yet. So we're gonna fill that back up. There. We're just gonna make a little bit of a zigzag thingy here. And this is purely for Q stuff, you know? We need to be able to get above this, which we aren't right now, because I do think we need like two height above it, so... Yeah, now. Um, the whirlpool once more. Two, 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 and then the twist back. And then I think right now wouldn't be such a bad moment to lift us out of here. So there we go. Look, and then I don't really know how high I can take this. Oh, hey, there happens to be a lift or a hill over here as well. What a coincidence that there are all these hills that we can utilize on <laughs> this ride. I don't mind it at all. I mean, the whirlpool at the top of a uh, yeah, of a drop is just... Oh man, that's just too good to pass up on, really. How cool would it be, though, if we also had an underground section of this? Well, we're gonna find out how cool that would be, uh, because we are going to add that right very now. Look at this. Underground section. Nice. A rapid with a waterfall. Another waterfall. And there we will hit terrain issues, so we'll do a whirlpool. Then we will do a rapid. Another whirlpool, we'll go over there, another waterfall, another whirlpool, and then we'll go up. Only to resurface over here. Is that bad? No, not at all. The thing is that if we were going to build the river ride, you know, just the plain river ride, not the river rapids or anything, and it wouldn't be over here anyway, so this area is basically just for us to do whatever we want with, really. And guess what I'm doing? <laughs> whatever I want. Uh, Alright, I need to go around like this. Now, I don't really know, do we have enough track length to warrant going back? I don't think so, so we're not gonna. Instead, what we're going to do is... Oh, we are, what we are going to do is around over here. Now, let's change the view. This is where... Ooh, I got a plan. I got an idea here. Ladies and gentlemen, an idea is born. I have a light bulb glowing above my head right now. <laughs> uh, we will have another whirlpool, of course. Look. This is the plan. We are going to do the... Uh, oh, this is actually rather difficult, but... Look, we're gonna do the... Lay it in the water track uh, trick thingy once again. There. And we're actually gonna do that 
to, you know, for the whole section in between the stations. Uh, first, two rapid sections. There. Then a whirlpool section. Then we're gonna add waterfall sections. Right now, just to do this preemptively, because I know we're gonna have to. There. And then I wanna go up from here, because it does take two sections to go up. Look, this looks rather interesting, if you ask me. We'll go like this, over here. Oh. So I need to go up one before, even. That's fine, we can arrange that. Look. And then we'll go around here. And then drop it by one. And then go around there. Actually, wh why are we having these straight sections in there again? <laughs> straight sections are so lame. <laughs> They're so, uh, well, lame, boring. <laughs> We're not going to have them. Now, one thing that we do need to do, though, is because, yeah, see, I think this section that can be filled up right now. The rest, though, look, right now we're gonna go down once more. So that means that I think it's this section. Yep. There. I mean, this one even goes underground. So what else could we possibly want with this, right? Ah, high ratings, of course. Though I shouldn't make this too much more longer, actually, because there's a good chance that it will become way too long to be any good at all. So, what we're gonna do though, and I think that is pretty, pretty cool, is uh, this. Uh, another whirlpool. And then, we are actually gonna drop it over here. Uh, so, to height 4. It isn't really that much, I know, but then I think we are safe to just go below the terrain over here. With a waterfall. No, I want rapids. There. And I believe that if we go over here and then go up. And then lower the terrain for it. By quite a bit. Like, <laughs> really quite a bit. Look. If I were to go straight here. And then make this curve. There. Slam bam in the middle. Right, well, one thing I'm curious to, can I, no, I can't change that, but the test ride on this one, we will have pretty extraordinary high ratings, I feel. Look at all the drops that we just incorporated. I even wonder, yeah, there's even mountain sections in this one, <laughs> all right. Now, uh, the other coaster that we lost with, this is a bit of an odd colored one, you know, it's a bit pink and beige and salmon and whatever, it's all called all these colors, you know. This one though, you know, this right here, going to be very traditional in the colors. No fancy stuff with whatever, though it's mainly a jungle color thing, so we're gonna color this jungle-esque first. Okay. Maybe we can change it around to having these be this green and then these be this brown. Very. Absolutely very. Yep. This is how it's going to be. Uh, these will then be made yellow because that fits. This looks very jungle-esque. So that the mountain theming. Uh, well, for one, we're gonna have this be ice colored, of course, and then the supports are going to be the other. <laughs> no, no, that, that would be over the top. They can be just general white. The only real section, actually, that has these uh, colors is this one. I don't think it goes above 15 anywhere else, really. Does it now? No, it doesn't. So this is really, really the only section. No, all right, that's fine. Um, yeah, so this is the only mountain-esque top-like area there. Right, cool. Now then, how is the test ride actually going? Uh, it seems to be quite all right. 
Let's disable that and while you guys watch this and inspect this for me, I am going to quickly hook up here the path leading to the main infrastructure. From there we can now safely go above, which I don't mind. And seeing, I mean, this right, it will probably be quite long, but, you know, we're still going to give this a reasonably long queue size. Which means that it's going to be over here. And then, like this. Yeah, that's how we're going to have it. A few bridges and ups and downs in it. I don't think it looks so shabby, you know, it doesn't become bad looking because of it. This, though, this will be a little bit more challenging because... Ah, well, <laughs> challenging, <laughs> hear me talk. I mean, uh, this is going to be piss easy, but uh, the real question is, I think over there would be where we should really hook it up, so, yeah. Let's, let's go for that, man. Man, why make it more difficult than it needs to be, right? There. Look, that's it. Don't need it to be all that difficult all the time. Now one thing actually that I've missed is... Yeah, they've researched everything. You get no funding, eggheads. Cost zero per month. 400 per month. Yeah, so we've been wasting money whilst they haven't been researching anything. The last thing we got was a vertical loop. Bad devs are eggheads, you know what I mean? Letting me research, spending money on the eggheads whilst they do not do anything for it. It's actually quite a bad thing, you know, it should be like auto turned off. Anyway, oh, ooh, look at that! <laughs> it's almost as good as this one, though this one does have special track features and it goes even higher. I think that the River Rapids though is uh, quite on par. And the one thing that I really like is how it just stays in the water and you know what we're gonna do just to make it even cooler we're gonna have an alternative color scheme too which is going to be water colored there i don't know yeah there it now one can barely see that this is in the water because of it look see it all just looks as if it was part of the water no, really, the, the, this section that goes up, I don't want that that color, you know. It really must seem like this is an integral part of the water and that the water is even flowing into the tunnel, which it does. Now, uh, there's an, also this section over here. There, yeah, that one, nice. And uh, we'll also paint in the whole station whilst we're at it. Right. No. Okay, so I, <laughs> I need to fix this this one small piece there, but oh, and I see I've skipped two other sections too. There. Those. I mean, right now it sure does look quite dandy, doesn't it? So I do see. Yeah, these are pieces that also still need color. Same for you. Let's disable the trees here. Make it makes it a little bit easier to see. Well, the F I'm doing where? Uh, hold on a second. That there, yes. Can't really see the rest there. Yeah? Well, if I can't see it, then I guess it's all right. Good. Well, um, let's see. How does it look, right? Amazing. Nothing short of amazing. Well, uh, I think that this is a pretty good success uh, to add to the park. So let's just get ourselves... Yeah, um, we do have a few basic things <laughs> that we still need to take care of. I don't think these benches are really needed for anything, but hey, <laughs> they never hurt, right? Also, why don't we open it up, huh? <laughs> I mean, the ratings are so high that the five bugs will always be good till it's like 15 bajillion years old, right? Now, we are going to call this... Um, yeah, this is going to be... Uh, the Cavi... Cav... 
Caviat stream. Caveat stream. No, 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 no. We're, we're gonna call this... Um, the... Yeah, the... Aqua Road. Aqua Road. No, 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 no. It needs to be jungle-esque. We're gonna call this uh, the Mosquito Breeding Pool. <laughs> breeding Pool. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. And we're, we're, oh man, it's actually quite difficult to come up with a watery name for something awesome and that is also like jungle related. Why don't we call this um, the yeah uh, Zuna Big Big Water? Well, that, I mean, it sounds a little bit African-like, really, if you ask me. But I'm all, okay, all right. I mean, I'm game with it. Now, we also need to assign ourselves a handy dude who is going to keep this exit clean of any vomit or water that they carry out of the ride. I mean, I do want my water bag, <laughs> even though it's easy to fill up. But Yeah, I quite like it. I think this, well, it looks good, you know. It fits nice with the theming and this whole water section, you know. I really like how it's set up. I mean, I'm almost hesitant now to build a river ride because I'm just afraid that the whole, whole support curtain will just ruin everything. But now, well, whether or not it will is something that you're gonna find out next time when we play more Roller Coaster Tycoon.